Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Z offset when you have an auto bed leveling probe. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So today I want to tackle something that's sort of a pain for a lot of people and that is calibrating the Z offset when you have a bed leveling probe. Now in my case I'm going to do this procedure on the BL Touch which I have installed on my custom printer. However, keep in mind that this approach should work for any sensor for auto bed leveling. So without further ado I'm going to go onto the PC and show you guys how. So the first thing you're going to do is connect your printer to printer face, attach the USB cable, choose the right port, baud rate and connect. As soon as you get here, what you will do is click on home so you can home the 3D printer. Next, we'll need to remove any current settings that the EEPROM has or the printer has, which relate to the Z offset. In this case, it's this one right here. As you can see, it's Z minus 12.40. So we will need to type in M851Z0. So this will reset the Z offset to zero. Next up, we will type in M500 because we want these settings to be stored in the EEPROM. We will then type in M501 so we can grab these settings from the EEPROM and set them as active parameters. Finally, just to make sure, we can type in M503 which will read all the settings of the uh, current printer. And as you can see at the bottom here, the Z offset is set to zero. Next, we want to home the, uh, the Z axis. So we can type in G28 and Z. When you do the homing of the Z axis, as you notice, once the BL touch or any inductive sensor is triggered, the nozzle moves slightly upwards. So what we need to make sure of is to move the nozzle to the proper true Z0 offset. To do so, we will type in G1, which is the move command. We're gonna type in F60, which is the speed, and we're gonna type in Z0. So it gives it the instruction to move to zero offset on the Z. Now, as you can see here, currently that is the true zero Z offset that the printer is set up for. However, we cannot move the printer any further down, no matter how many times we press the Z minus, because the firmware has a soft limit switch on, which prevents it from going further down than zero. So we currently need to switch that off. And we do so by typing in M211S0. As you can see here, it says that soft end stop is off. So what we will do now is slide a piece of paper under the nozzle and we will slowly move the nozzle downwards until the paper can barely move due to the friction of the nozzle and the bed. Once we have found the right Z offset thanks to the paper, we're gonna look at the screen and we're gonna take note of the Z offset, which currently is Z minus 2.49. So we're gonna type that down, minus 2.49. And now we're almost at the Z offset. We have to keep in mind that we use the paper, which is around 0.1 millimeter thick. So we have to take that in consideration. So what we're going to do is we're gonna add the thickness of the paper or any other measuring device you used and add it to that one. Now that we know our true zero offset, which is minus 2.5, we're gonna to go to the command line. We will type in M 851, which is the command for the Z offset. And we're going to type in Z minus 2.50. As you can see, it has been registered. Next, we will need to switch back on the soft end stops. And we would do so by typing M211, which is the command that we did before. However, we'll type S1 to enable it. As you can see now, the end stop is back on. And once again, we need to save this information to EPRON by typing in M. 500. 
From EEPROM, we need to send it back to active parameter. So we type M501. And just to confirm everything is fine, we type M503 to read the current settings. And finally, as you can see down here, M851 is Z minus 2.5. Now to verify all this, all you need to do is once again, click on home all. And if you type in G1 F60 Z0, it should take the nozzle back down to the true zero offset, which should be almost touching the build plate. which as you can see is absolutely perfect. And you're done. You can then disconnect the printer and start your print. And that ladies and gentlemen should solve all your Z offset problems. It's not that complicated. I will list down the steps one by one in the video descriptions just for easier reference, but it only takes a few steps, maybe five, 10 minutes and you're done. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, I know a lot of you have asked me for this, so I apologize if it's been a long time coming. But if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to reply to them. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.